Heads up. <laughs> this is Fred Thompson. <laughs> Over me for President of the United States, sir. <laughs> or not, I don't really care. <laughs> I'm not lazy. Heads up. As head of the Consumer Product Safety Commission, I do not want any more funding to protect the consumers. All products are fine. Lead in children's toys is fine. Miss Nord, several companies your agency oversees have paid for over $60,000 in trips for you in clear violation of government travel regulations. How dare you question my integrity? Just for that, no lead-based teddy bear for you. Heads up. Vice President Cheney, about Pakistan's president declaring martial law, suspending the constitution, firing judges, seizing the media, imprisoning his opponents, having police bludgeon protesters, mm. and, uh, mm. Mr. Vice President, mm, uh, baby. Mr. Vice President, what, oh, what yeah. exactly are you doing behind oh, the podium, yeah. sir? Baby. Uh, sir? Mm. This, uh, press conference is, uh, over. Heads up. I'm Bill O'Reilly. Now it's time for Die No Spin Zone. No Spin Zone. No Spin Zone. Da, candidate Ron Paul raised $4.2 million, the highest one day total for Da Republicans. So clearly we have to da, stop him, ban him from the debates, ban him from the Republican websites like redstate.com. We have to defend our Republican values of da, endless war, torture, and da, destroying the Constitution. On November 6, 2007, the Democrats in the House of Representatives finally stood up for what they believe. No, Dennis Kucinich, we will not allow you to impeach our vice president. Man, if you guys only spent half as much energy in defending the Constitution as you do defending Cheney. I know. In order to beat the Republicans, we need to act more like Republicans. <sighs> Up. See, Chris, my favorite picture from the first Gulf War was of American soldiers surrounding an Iraqi soldier in a foxhole and saying, we're not gonna harm you, we're American soldiers, treating the enemy with respect. I think you mean treating the enemy like a coward would treat them. See, we take our prisoners and we torture them. We destroy Iraq and destabilize the Middle East, right, Daddy? That's it, I'm putting you in a home. Heads up. Dana, a few months ago we discovered that the trailers that FEMA gave the victims of Hurricane Katrina to live in were laced with formaldehyde, and now new emails reveal that FEMA employees are not allowed to even step inside the trailers for health reasons. Well, we have to protect their health. Yeah, except Dana, there's still 50,000 families living in the formaldehyde trailers. Oh, big deal. So we're poisoning Katrina victims. Shouldn't they be used to 